so hi friends welcome to my channel Manadeep Tech and Telugu and today's video is about uh, which SUV is best in the segment of 10 to 20 lakhs so there are some already there are some of cars like Vitara Prisa and Kireta a strong foundation in the price point but now there are a lot of SUVs coming like Tata Harrier MD Hector is on the way XUV 300s arrived newly so let's uh, decide which one will be the best SUV in the price range of uh, uh, 10 to 20 lakhs okay let's enter into the video first so first things first let's start with the prices and the Tata Nexon is starting from 6.62 lakhs X showroom I am not saying honor prices because honor prices may vary so X showroom prices are Tata Nexon 6.62 to 10.96 lakhs and uh, while coming to the Tata uh, Ford EcoSport uh, the prices vary from 7.83 lakhs to 11.9 lakhs and also we have here another car Hyundai Creta it starts from 9.6 lakhs to 15.63 lakhs also we have another car here in this price range there are a lot of cars Maruti Vitara Brisa it is varying from 7.94 lakhs to 10.75 lakhs where it is the cheapest of all the SUVs in this price range and the Mahindra XUV 300O is pricing 7.9 to 12.14 lakh it is also one of the cheapest cars and the Tata Harrier is uh, varying from 12.71 lakhs to 16.31 lakhs so it is the expensive car of all so let's compare these cars uh, so and let's decide a winner so firstly let's talk about the brand so we're coming to the brand Tata well so many people do not buy cars because of only this brand so the people do not know about this badge so they do not trust this brand because obviously there are so many real life examples of the Tata's failure in their service or reliability so we're coming to the brand well Marty Suzuki has some more brand value Hyundai has the extreme brand value of all Mahindra Ford are also having the best brand value and also Tata has entered this new concept of introducing luxury cars at the less price so Tata is also changing and now it is time to improve somehow the sales after sales service or service centers uh, availability customer satisfaction will be more important so Tata should concentrate on it so while well, coming to the brand my vote will go with uh, Hyundai because uh, Ford and Mahindra will be second place because Ford and Mahindra do not have much service centers or dealerships uh, compared to Hyundai also Hyundai has uh, been awarded with uh, the best car manufacturer so my vote goes with uh, the first place is with Hyundai second place goes with Ford and uh, the Ford and uh, Mahindra the third place goes with Suzuki and the last place is with Tata so next let's compare the safety because safety is the first thing we need to uh, prefer because uh, safety is the everything so well Tata Harrier offers uh, Tata Harrier Tata Nexon offer you great value of safety they offer uh, dual airbags Tata Harrier well uh, it, it is solidly built uh, Tata Nexon Tata Harrier Tata Nexon is also uh, awarded as the safest car of India in this year it has undergone crash test and it has scored 5 stars out of 5 so Tata cars have the great safety well coming to Mahindra XUV 300 and also the Hyundai Creta they are also strong build cars uh, well they contain much uh, high build quality so obviously comparing with safety only the thing that lacks the safety is in only Vitara Brisa obviously it is also surprisingly scored uh, 3.9 so out of 5 uh, but also other cars available in this price segment are with 5 stars so I think we should eliminate the Vitara Brisa from this competition now because uh, uh, safety is the first thing also Suzuki is not making cars with the best quality and next let's compare the I'm not comparing the mileage as the primary part because the people who buy cars between 10 to 20 lakhs they do not mind the mileage this 0.1 0.2 kilometers so let's compare the looks okay welcoming the looks I had already eliminated it are so I am not I would not compare that car because I will compare five aspects and every car should be in each aspect and the car which will be on the platform at the last round will be the winner and it is the best car to choose well coming uh, to the looks well Tata Harrier is the one that I like the most because it has the bold looks the sharp uh, LED tile lamps uh, that the liquid line flow and the projector headlamps are also nice uh, it got the nice projector setup 
it has the high uh, massive look also it is the largest of all the SUVs uh, that are available in this price segment where Creta is also one of the most uh, dynamic looking SUV it has the high presence on the road uh, and Nexon and XUV300 so an Exxon and XUV300 look like somehow family cars they do not look rugged and uh, they do not look uh, uh, like what we call an SUV presence will be there for cars so these two cars are missing on uh, that uh, styling aspect so I will vote with the Tata Harrier first and the second with uh, the Krita, Hyundai Krita so uh, we have completed uh, four cars at this moment also we need to complete uh, fifth car that is MG Hector that is on the way also Hyundai Venue is also on the way so these two cars so I think Hyundai Venue will be the economical car between below 10 lakhs so I am not talking that point MG Hector is also well let's talk after it is arrived in the market so in this round only two cars are qualified the third round that are the Tata Harrier and the Hyundai Creta also the remaining cars are nice but we're coming to looks command duty the command of Tata Harrier and the Creta is more so the third round is coming to the engine performance so obviously Tata Harrier the Tata Harrier gets the best engine because uh, we know that it gets uh, the 2000 cc engine whereas the Hyundai Creta only gets 1600 cc engine so let's compare both the cars and let's decide which will be the best car or you need to wait for another car okay let's compare I, will, I am going to compare the top models of both the cars because uh, we should compare uh, top model in any comparison so the Creta is going with 1.6 SX dual tone whereas the Tata Harrier is uh, uh, I'm selecting the Tata Harrier so the top version of the Harrier is uh, XZ diesel so XZ diesel is the top version so let's compare these both the cars and while comparing these cars uh, okay the uh, price price on road price so on road price according to my area is uh, the Harrier is uh, 2 lakh 60 thousand rupees expensive than the Creta so that is a lot of amount uh, but in the Harrier you can get a lot like uh, the engine power in Creta is 1600 whereas Harrier got 2000 cc engine also it generates 138 bhp whereas the Creta generates 126 bhp and uh, also we can get, get more boot space 25 liter more boot space uh, in the Harrier but here the Creta gets 5 liters more uh, fuel tank and both have 5 seating capacity and uh, also uh, we can see that uh, the styling of interiors on both the cars is different because the Tata Harrier got the Jaguar looks whereas uh, Hyundai Creta got uh, the premium royal looks so I will vote for both in terms of interior well as both will come with ABS, power steering, power windows, front and rear and okay Creta misses out with leather seats but Harrier gets leather seats speed sensing auto door lock is available in both the cars both the cars come with air conditioner, heater, adjustable steering, tachometer, electronic multi-trip meter and leather steering wheel is available in both the cars, glow compartment is available, digital clock is also available but Tata Harrier surprisingly misses out the outside temperature display but the Creta gets the outside temperature display also the digital odometer is available in both the cars also echo mode, power mode, these modes are available in the Harrier but uh, Creta gets dual tone dashboard and uh, we're coming to another feature so both of them gets adjustable headlights uh, front fog lights but uh, they misses out rear fog lights they get power adjustable uh, rear view mirrors uh, electronic folding uh, Harrier gets rain sensing wiper but Creta gets rear window wiper rear window washer rear window defogger and alloy wheels are provided on both the cars they both have their rear spoilers uh, they have uh, turn indicators on outside rear view mirrors they have indicated antenna and also they have roof rails uh, and uh, also you can see there are uh, remote control keys uh, while coming to engine obviously the torque and uh, power of Harrier is a lot more because it is a greater engine also both are CRDI engines uh, they both are turbocharged then they both come with six speed manual front wheel drive system and uh, also you can see the turning radius of both the cars is 5.3 meters so coming to the brakes, both cars are offered, offered with disc at front and turn at rear. We are coming to mileage, obviously Creta hits a point here, it 
at 20.5 km per liter and Tata Harrier Stux at 17. Also, fuel tank capacity of uh, the Hinakata is more. So, while coming to the tires, uh, both are of 17 inch tires. So, all our wheels also. So, in coming to the dimensions, the Tata Harrier is uh, more lengthy, more width, and have more height than. Uh, this uh, Hyundai Creta and the ground clearance of both the cars is nice 205 mm and wheelbase of Tata Harrier is uh, more when coming to the safety Tata Harrier got brake assist additionally and anti theft alarm side airbag front so these are the additional features uh, also it gets xenon headlamps and also it gets traction control system and vehicle stability control system so automatic headlamps so these are missing in uh, the Hyundai Creta so that is somehow disappointing so well coming to the communication and entertainment both get radio and audio system remote control both integrated to the audio harmon music systems everything is nice so while coming to the price we can see 260,000 rupees hype in the Tata Harrier for the 260,000 rupees you get more height more width more length always more engine power more torque and more features more features you will get but I think the features are not uh, that usable features because what you will do with the leather seats or automatic headlamps, they are the useless features. They will be cheated uh, by the, uh, the people will be cheated by those higher models. So I think, uh, well, comparing both the cars, for the more you pay, you only get these uh, features in the Tata Harrier. Also, brand value of Creta is uh, more when compared to the Harrier. So, my final verdict is if your budget is below 15 lakhs, then blindly go with the Tata Nexon or uh, the Marty XUV, sorry, Mahindra XUV 300. And if your budget is above 15 lakhs, then go with Creta or Harrier. That is based on you because if you want more advanced features and more powerful engine, and if you do not carry your budget, then go with Harrier. But if you want a good brand, if you want great service, then you should go with Creta. Both are great cars. So my in my choice, I will go with Creta because uh, it is a lot more cheaper and the Hyundai you can uh, rely on the brand. But Tata, it has to develop over the years. So this is my today's review. Out of 20 lakhs, the best SUV will be there. obviously. Uh, there are a lot of cars. MG Hector is on the way. So for at this time, Hyundai Creta will be the best option. Even higher is also uh, best option. Okay, so I will give the scores so you cannot confuse. The scores are for Tata Harrier, I will give 9.5 out of 10. For Hyundai Creta, I will give 9.7. The point two is only for the Hyundai brand. So if Tata is increased its brand value, then obviously I will go with Harrier. And so next uh, XUV 300 and uh, the Tata Nexon scores 9 points but Vitara Brisa surprisingly got only 8 points because it has a lot of uh, low end, there is no engine power because it is an SUV so it is need to be performed well. So Vitara Brisa misses out it. So out of my comparison at this present of time if you need good brand value go with Creta if you need more dynamic design and more dynamic performance go with the Harrier. So this is my final review. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to get regular updates. Thank you.